all the slides shown here belongs to their respective owner. I of the channel does not claim any rights over them. The medicines shown in this video are for teaching purpose only. Do not take any medicine without the proper advice from a medical practitioner. Hello guys, I am Shahan Laik, third year MBBS and today I will discuss about a very important topic. What are the drugs that should be taken by a COVID-19 positive patient? Basically, if uh, you are COVID-19 positive and you don't have any symptom, then you don't have to think about it. But if you are having COVID-19 and you are having symptoms and they are mild, for example, you are having uh, fever and that is mild fever, then you can just take paracetamol. And paracetamol can be found out in the market. Uh, OTC drug so you can take uh, any brand whichever you like Calpol or Parasape or uh, other brands whichever you like basically what will paracetamol do paracetamol will act as antipyretic analgesic so it will decrease the fever and uh, it will also decrease the body ache now if the fever is not gone even after you are taking uh, three paracetamol uh, a day then you just uh, you can just sponge your body with uh, with water and the fever will automatically go away now if you are having cough you can take any cup syrup that is available in the market for example jeet this is one cough syrup i used to um, take it when i feel cough this contain uh, diphenyl hydramine uh, ammonium chloride and sodium citrate these are the three which is there as the cough formula you can take this syrup or any other cough syrup in the market which is available basically corona do not have any uh, proper treatment but these things which I am telling are for symptomatic purpose only, for symptom release only. Because if the corona patient is having fever, then they can take paracetamol. If they're having cough, then they can take any cough syrup. For example, this one, JIT, you can take this. I am giving you another name of cough syrup. You can also take this. That is uh, this one, which is known as BroJIT. You can take this one also either you can take jeet or you can take brojit basically it contains tarbutalin sulfate ambroxol hydrochloride and guaifenesin so this is the composition of brojit basically this will act as bronchodilator and mucolytic so this is a cup syrup it is a, it will help in dilate your bronchus and it will also act as mucolytic that means it will make the mucus which is thick it will make it thinner so your cough reflex will be good and you can just with the help of your cough reflex you can take out the thick mucus as it has become thin after you have taken this and it will come out through your mouth or through your nose this is another medication this is montelukast tablet basically it is available uh, along with levocetrigine dihydrochloride so levocetrigine and montelukast are combined together and uh, the tablets are available as montia l montia means montelukast and l means levocetrigine so levocetrigine and montelukast are combined together basically if you say in the medicine shop as montelukast tablet it is available now why will you take montelukast tablet basically montelukast tablets are given to the asthma patient those who are having sob that is shortness of breath you cannot take uh, breathing properly you are having painful breathing or uh, you are having a kind of chest pain a kind of chest tightness you cannot 
breathe properly so basically the symptom of the asthma patient so to relieve that sob to relieve the shortness of breath you are feeling that there is less oxygen here in the environment so when you are feeling that you can take montelukast tablet montelukast along with levocetrizine always remember and it is available in the market as montia l this is another important tablet you can take it is known as mucinac mucinac m u c i n a c mucinac mucinac is a tablet which uh, contains acetylcysteine acetylcysteine 600 uh, mg effervescent tablets mu mucinac so what is the uh, why what is the use of mucinac why we are taking taking acetylcysteine tablet so basically we are taking mucinac acetylcysteine tablet because this will make the mucus thinner it will help in breaking down of the mucus basically mucinac tablet acetylcysteine will act by making the thick mucus into thin mucus it will help in making the thick mucus into thin mucus so that it comes out easily so you can see that mucinac is mucolytic it is a mucolytic tablet so acetylcysteine it contains acetylcysteine mucinac you can take this tablet basically mucinac 600 it is available it is manufactured by cipla now there are two main antibiotic one is this one that is doxycycline which is given when the symptom is not releasing with the tablets you have already taken which i told you if then also the symptom is there then you can take doxycycline because doxycycline is a very effective drug it is generally used for treating the respiratory tract infection rti it is used in rti so we will use doxed sl doxed sl the name of the tablet is doxed sl doxed means doxycycline and sl actually means uh, the lactic acid along with it so doxed sl you can use this tablet this is manufactured by dr reddy doxycycline and lactic acid bacillus capsule so this is an antibiotic which has a very effective role in treating the infection that may be caused by other bacteria in the respiratory tract so it can be used in treating rti so the covid-19 patient who also develop respiratory tract infection bacterial infection so as antibiotic we uh, give doxed sl which mainly contains doxycycline and lactic acid bacillus i told you that there are two antibiotic which are mainly used in covid patient one is doxycycline doxtesel which i told you another is this one agibact that is azithromycin agibact 500 so agibact is azithromycin it is uh, manufactured by ipca the pharmaceutical company agibact azithromycin is another antibiotic a very good antibiotic azithromycin is used in treatment of the rti respiratory tract infection pharyngitis and other infection in the upper respiratory tract lower respiratory tract so we will use agibact 500 in treating the bacterial infection that has accompanied in a covid-19 patient 
सो एज ए सपोर्टिव थेरापी वी विल यूज एजीबैक्ट एजिथ्रोमाइसिन टैबलेट्स बेसिकली दिस इज एन इंजेक्शन दिस इज नोन एज एनोक्सा एनोक्सा पैरिन ऑल्सो नोन एज एनोक्सा पैरिन सोडियम इंजेक्शन विच इज एवेलेबल इन हॉस्पिटल एनोक्सा एज एनोक्सा सो दिस इंजेक्शन इज गिवन इट इज लो मॉलिकुलर वेट हेपरिन सो एनोक्सा पैरिन इज एपरिन विच इज लो मॉलिकुलर वेट सो वाई डू वी विल यूज एनोक्सा पैरिन Why we will use a low molecular weight heparin? Because in COVID-19 patient, there is chance of formation of blood clots. Different parts of the circulatory systems may develop clot. A COVID-19 patient may develop thrombosis, and that clot can also move through the blood. by hematogenously and lodge into different part of the system of our body it can also lead to embolism like it can lead to pulmonary embolism because that clot when it moves and go in the pulmonary circuit it can cause pulmonary embolism so these clots small clots which are formed inside the blood vessels of this covid-19 patient we need to bust it so that is why we use enoxa enoxa is a very good injection the full name is enoxa parin sodium or enoxa parin that is uh, given iv intravenously it is easily available in hospital or you can buy the injection from any medical store enoxaparin that is given to break the clots that is developed in a covid-19 patients now this is the picture of another injection known as dexamethasone so dexamethasone is a injection which is used dexamethasone is used when there is a severe allergy when the covid-19 patient is not recovering at all severe allergy is developing rhinitis sinusitis severe in severe case an edema has been developed in different part of the pulmonary circuit edema is there in different parts of the body internal edema fluid accumulation or anything like that so in severe allergy and severe all these cases severe covid patient we can use dexamethasone to control it so it can be given iv basically dexamethasone injection is available in hospital the full name is dexamethasone sodium dexamethasone sodium sodium phosphate dexamethasone sodium phosphate injection that can be given iv now this is a picture you can see intidex intidex it is available by this brand name you can take by this brand or other brand mainly you have to say to the hospital or to the medical store as dexamethasone injection dexamethasone is found to be very useful in treating covid-19 patient in severe cases when the case is going out of the hand then this injection is given uh, so dexamethasone acts as a life saving drug we can use dexamethasone injection now this is a picture of apixaban so what is apixaban apixaban the name of the tablet is apixaban tablet apixaban so what is the use of apixaban tablet 
basically apixa one is a tablet that is used as blood thinner so what do you mean by blood thinner tablet that will thin your blood that will make your blood thinner because when the blood is thick when uh, the blood is thick then what happens there is more chance of formation of clot so so that clot does not occur in covid-19 patient we can use a tablet known as apixaban apixaban is a tablet which is used to thin the blood so that the blood do not coagulate and form a clot because in covid-19 patient i told you there is a very high possibility and very high chance of formation of clots at different parts of the circulatory system and these clot can also break apart from the point of origin and it can dislodge and move through the blood through the hematogenous spread it can go go and lodge at any place on any other place of our body it can also cause pulmonary embolism so we have to take care of it so that no clot are formed so we can use apixa band tablet basically we use enoxa the injection which i already told you the enoxa injection enoxaparin which is a low molecular weight heparin but if we do not use enoxa uh, injection enoxaparin injection then we can use apixa that is apixaban apixaban tablets which more or less the same function acts as blood thinner it will make the blood thin so that uh, clot coagulation do not occurs and so the system become clear and the covid-19 patient do not suffer from pulmonary embolism or other kind of blood clots inside the system now this is the picture of pulse oximeter you can buy this uh, little instrument and you can check your spo2 level basically you can see the left side spo2 percentage is given that is 96 here now if a patient is having spo2 below 90 then only you need to take concern then you, then only you need to think about it otherwise it's okay the right side you can see the bpm that is beats per minute pulse rate pr means pulse rate which is 86 in this case it is also normal so you just have to check the left side if it is above 90 then you don't have to have a concern but if it is below 90 then only you need to think of taking oxygen you can use this oxygen mask for taking oxygen and don't stop using mask wear mask use sanitizer and use gloves always maintain 6 feet distance so if you maintain all these things uh the virus has less chance to enter your body and if it has already entered into your body just uh you can consult the physician and take medications i just give you the idea which medications are given in Uh, covid 19 patient as a supportive measure thank you so much for watching this video and i will request every one of you to maintain social distancing wash your hands regularly wear mask and all the covid guidelines and please do not take any medication without proper knowledge you just ask the physician if the physician prescribed you you take the medication but this video is just for giving you a basic idea what are the medication that are used 
to treat COVID-19 patient. If you like our video, please uh, make a thumbs up. And those who are new to my channel, please subscribe our channel because we make medical videos for helping MBBS students across the globe. We have already crossed uh, 675 plus subscribers in our YouTube channel and we have 700 plus Instagram Studygram followers. If you want to chat with me, you can follow me in Instagram, Medico Shahan. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye bye.